Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Electricity is a basic necessity that is needed everywhere for heating, cooling, lighting, operating machinery, etc. We have a lot of energy sources from where we generate electricity by a power plant. One such source is hydropower, where power is derived from the energy of falling water. Hydropower can be used to generate electricity in hydroelectric power plants. Instead of burning fuel, a hydroelectric power plant uses the energy of falling water to turn turbines and generators, thus producing electricity. But in order to generate sufficient power, the water level must be at a considerable height from the turbine. The higher the headwater level is, the greater will be its potential energy. This potential energy will get converted to kinetic energy as the water falls through the height and thus finally turn the blades of a turbine. The turbine being connected by a shaft rotates the generator to produce electricity. Therefore, to get a sufficiently high water level, dams are built across the flow of the water body. Dams help in raising the water level and also control the flow of water. Hydroelectric power plants run on water, but water is not available at the same rate throughout the year. Hence, the reservoir is used to store water for availability at the time of high demand. Apart from being renewable energy, hydroelectricity has many other advantages. Firstly, the power generation can be varied accordingly without wastage. This is because the hydro turbine can be turned on or off in very little time as compared to other plants like the nuclear power plant which takes considerable time for the startup. Moreover, the reservoirs can store the water for use in the time of water scarcity. Hydroelectric power plants are also an ecologically safe option since they do not produce carbon dioxide during operation. Although some greenhouse gases are produced during construction and the reservoirs give off methane, overall greenhouse gas emissions are still lowest as compared to the other sources of power generation. Hydroelectric power plants have some disadvantages as well. For example, large hydroelectric power plants have reservoirs that cause submersion of large areas of land. The submersion of land causes the relocation of the population. Also, the flooding of the plant matter in the reservoir causes it to decay, thus resulting in methane emissions. Hydroelectric power plants also create a hindrance to the movement of aquatic life. Thus, hydroelectric power plants, apart from working on a renewable energy source, also provide flexibility in power production. Well, that's all for this time. Stay tuned for more interesting content and until next time, bye!